Hello guys, this is the report of Group 1 and we are going to report about the tale of Genji written by Morasaki Shikibu and my name is Edson J.G. Rosales and I'm going to report the synopsis of Tale of Genji The story centers the life of Hikaru Genji who was born during the Heian period Hikaru Genji was born by the beloved concubine of the emperor Genji is raised by the royal family Genji has his first illicit affair with Fujitsubo, the young wife of the emperor. Fujitsubo gives birth to a boy who was named by Reizei, raised by an, unknown, by an unknown emperor. Although Genji feels guilt because of the affair, Genji goes on to have numerous affairs with other court ladies, including Uchisemi, Yugao, Murasaki no Yue, and Hani Chirusato. He was being appointed to high official ranking, reaching the apogee of his career. However, his newlywed young bride, Onasa Sanomiya, has an illicit affair that results in a child named Kaoru. Reminding Genji on his own similar past actions, then Murasaki no Yue, Genji's real love and wife of more than 20 years passes away. Left in deep despondence, Genji decides to leave the capital to enter a small mountain temple. The tale of Genji continues although without the hero, but centers the story of Kaoru. And that's the, rip, the synopsis of the tale of Genji. And the next reporter will be Rojimus Geda, who will be reporting about the characters of tale of Genji. Thank you, Mr. Edson Rosales. And, let's, and now, let's talk about the settings of the story. The tale of Genji happened during the Heian period, and it happened in the Suma. And the main characters of the story are Genji, the son of concubine emperor, and Aoi, the Genji's first wife, Fujitsubu, Genji's affair, Murasaki, real love of Genji, Reizei, son of Genji and Fujitsubu, Heida Kashi, former governor of Marimo's daughter. And now let's call to the next reporter, Mr. Joshua Kaiser Galdos. Thank you, Mr. Roger Mosqueda. Now I'm gonna report the author. Murasaki Shikibu was a Japanese novelist poet and a maid of honor of the imperial court during the Heian period. She is the best known as the author of Tale of Genji written in Japanese between about 1000 and 1008, one of the earliest and most famous novels in the human history. Murasaki Shikibu was not her real name. Her actual, her actual name is unknown. Her diary states that she was nicknamed Murasaki. It means purple wisteria blossom. At court, after a character in the tale of Genji, Shikibu refers to her father's position in the Bureau of the Ceremony. And now the next reporter is Mr. Ronald Perez. Joshua Kaiser Carlos. Now I'm going to report why did the author wrote the story. It was written by a noble woman named Murasaki Shikibu in the early 11th century. Until then, the Japanese had imitated Chinese culture and Chinese poetry, and writing had been popular. A homegrown syllabic writing system called Hiragana emerged. Around that time, as a means of expressing the sentiments and thoughts of the Japanese, partic particularly the women, Murasaki Shikibu used the hiragana script in writing the tale of Genji. So, the author Murasaki Shikibu was gifted with great literary talent after the death of her husband. She served in the imperial court. She based the novel on her true life experience at court. And that's all. And the next reporter will be Mawel God. Thank you, Ronald Perhes. And now I will report the relevance of the tale of Genji to the present. Like what happened to Hikaru Genji when he had an affair to the young wife of the Emperor Fujitsubo. He and Fujitsubo had a son named Reizei. After that, Genji had a wife who had an affair too. Now, the relevance of the story of Genji to what's happening now is that many people now had an affair that they not content to their relationship. Thank you, that's all.
Hi, we are the group one. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.